What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports, back again with another one. Got some news regarding the WBO welterweight champion, Terrence Bud Crawford, and who will be his next opponent come spring of 2021. The working date that they're working on, top ranking ESPN, is May 29th. It's for Terrence Bud Crawford's next fight. Now, Terrence Bud Crawford's been chasing Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao for the last six years at least maybe even seven years and uh they're trying to uh revisit that fight again for the third time i did a video a couple of days ago and said uh if they don't get the fight done it's like baseball one two three strikes you're out this is the third time they've been trying to make a fight with manny pac-man pacquiao pacquiao seemed to be leaning more toward a fight with mikey garcia that fight could take place on the pbc and a fight could take place in the united states maybe dallas texas maybe somewhere in florida but they're in negotiations right now, and Terrence Bud Crawford is still in the running for that fight. Now, Terrence Bud Crawford recently was on Twitter going back and forth with Sean Showtime Porter, who is the number one ranked in the WBO, who is now pushing for a fight with Terrence Bud Crawford. Uh, he said that, look, uh, you know, uh, Sean Porter said, look, and I heard that you got a working date of May 29th. I'll be ready by May 29th. Terrence Bud Crawford replied and said, look, you stand by and wait on the sideline because right now you're trying me i'm gonna get back to you i'm still trying to make the pacquiao fight now uh sean porter did a video with fight height and said that look I, he caught wind that uh jose cito lopez is now in the running for a tense bud crawford fight if he can't land the manny pacquiao fight now sean porter also stated in that uh, fight hype video that uh he sees a lot of flaws in Terrence bud crawford uh recent fights and i think he's probably looking at that Kell Brook fight. You know, everybody want to talk about the spectacular knockout with Kell Brook, and Kell Brook is fading, and Kell Brook can't take a punch no more, and he needs to retire. But when you watch that fight before all that took place, Kell Brook was touching up Terrence Bud Crawford. You look at Terrence Bud, Bud Crawford's face. His fight, his uh, eye was swelled up. He had some swelling up on his eye. You know, people tend to forget about that. They look at the spectacular knockout, and they kind of let that fall by the wayside. But he took some shots in there. Ter Kell Brook was able to land the jab. You know, he was able to uh, catch him with straight right hands. And he was able to touch him up with combinations, one-two combinations, two and three punch combinations. You know, and he was actually uh, winning some rounds in that fight. He might have even been ahead in that fight. He, he, he was ahead in that fight before the knockout or he was, or that fight was even. You can kind of see by the uh, the round before that, the tennis Puck crowd was starting to get a bead on what Kale Brook was doing. You know, he was closing the distance and he was kind of timing uh, Kale Brook. So you can kind of tell, tell about that early on. But... You have to realize that, uh, you know, Kell Brook was touching him up, man. So we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what transpires. But uh, that fight is uh, a fight that they're talking about. Josito Cito Lopez. A lot of people saying, ah, Josito Lopez. Uh, what kind of fight? You try to fight him, you did fight Sean Showtime Porter. Josito Lopez is not a uh, good fight for Terrence Bud Crawford. And uh, skill-wise, he probably don't match up well with uh, Terrence Bud Crawford at all. But Josito Lopez has a name. He's been there with a, the who's who of boxing. He fought Canelo. He fought Victor Ortiz. He fought Berto. He fought Madonna. And he fought Keith one time Thurman. So he's been there with a lot of great fighters. And he does have a following in uh, West Side of California. Oxnard, California, if I'm not mistaken. He's got a following in Oxnard, California. So uh, Riverside, California. They call him Riverside Rocket. So he has a following in there. You know, they, he's had a lot of fights on the West Coast. So maybe Top Rank is uh, looking at that. And you got to understand that Bob Arum has affinity toward Latino fighters. He, he feels they will bring more eyeballs to the TV set, typically, than any other fighter of any other race, basically. He likes to uh, match those fighters up, so they might be looking at a Jose Lopez matchup, preferably over uh, Sean Showtime Porter. Another thing, uh, they said that they offered Sean Showtime Porter $1 million, and Sean Showtime Porter flatly refused that. You know, I've heard that he's looking at a, making $5 million. He wants $5 million to fight Terrence Bud Crawford. Now, I think if they can uh, settle on a, like a happy medium, maybe they do a $3 million offer for uh, Sean Showtime Porter. He has a chance to make money on the back end. I think that'll be preferable for uh, Sean Showtime Porter. I think he will accept that. But you got to understand that, um, they, like I said, they have affinity for uh, Latino fighters. And uh, they might be looking to make that fight if they can't land the Pacquiao fight. We'll see what happens. We'll see what transpires. But I like Sean Showtime Porter, you know, sticking to his guns. He's uh, pushing strong for that 
Crawford fight. He said on Fight Hype that he believed he can knock out Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford has a lot of flaws that he's seen in his recent fights. So it remains to be seen if this fight happens, man. But I just want to give you know that breaking news that uh, Terrence Bud Crawford uh, working date is May 29th, and he's still pursuing the Manny Pacquiao fight. But it's, it's said here that they might be looking at Jose Cito Lopez because he's more in their price range and he's a Latino fighter over a Sean Showtime Porter fight. Sean Showtime Porter need to put pressure on the WBO to, to enforce the mandatory. That's what we need to be his next move. Uh, good luck with that because the WBO is in bed with Bob Aram in top rank. So I don't know how far he'll get if he tries that, but he does need to try that. He is the number one contender and he does have his rights being the number one contender. And he needs to uh, pursue those rights and try to land the Terrence Bud Crawford fight. Let me know your thoughts about Terrence Bud Crawford fighting Jose De Lopez. Do you like that fight over Sean Showtime Porter? I don't, but maybe you do. Let me know your thoughts and hit the like button if you like the content of this video and subscribe to JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holler.